69 divided by 3. So we can set this out as a short division. And we start, if we can, by dividing the first digit by 3. So dividing the first digit by the divisor. Now 6 divided by 3 is exactly 2. And that's because 2 times 3 is 6. So we don't have a remainder and we can move straight on to the next digit. 9 divided by 3 is exactly 3. And that's because 3 times 3 is 9. So our answer is 23. Now, 72 divided by 4. Taking the first digit, we have 7 divided by 4. Now, 7 isn't in the 4 times table, which means we are going to have a remainder. 2 times 4 is 8, but that's too many. So we need to stop at 1 times 4, which is 4, but then to get from 7, to get to 7 from 4, we need 3 more. So 3 is our remainder. That's because 1 times 4 is 4, and then we need to add 3 to get to 7. So now we have 32 divided by 4, which is 8 because 8 times 4 is 32. So, our answer is 18. Now, 95 divided by 5. Again, we can set this out as a short division and start by dividing the first digit, so dividing 9 by 5. There needs to be a 1 in our answer line because 1 times 5 is 5, but then we need 4 more to get to 9. So 9 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 4. So now we have 45 divided by 5, which is 9, because 9 times 5 is 45. So our answer is 19. Now, 128 divided by 2. We can set this out in the same way, but we're going to do something slightly different here. If we take the first digit, we have 1 divided by 2, which is 0 remainder 1. But rather than doing that, if the first digit is smaller than the divisor, what you can do is take the first two digits together. So we can take 12 and divide 12 by 2. That's exactly 6 because 6 times 2 is 12. So we don't have a remainder here. So we just need to divide 8 by 2. That's 4 because 4 times 2 is 8. So our answer is 64.